I promise that increased time in the temple will bless your life in ways nothing else can. If you and I are to withstand the forthcoming perils and pressures, it is imperative that we each have a firm spiritual foundation built upon the rock of our Redeemer, Jesus Christ. So I ask each of you, how firm is your foundation? And what reinforcements to your testimony and understanding of the gospel are needed? The temple lies at the center of strengthening our faith and spiritual fortitude because the Savior and his doctrine are the very heart of the temple. Everything taught in the temple, through instruction and through the Spirit, increases our understanding of Jesus Christ. His essential ordinances bind us to him through sacred priesthood covenants. Then as we keep our covenants, he endows us with his healing, strengthening power. And oh, how we will need his power in the days ahead. We have been promised that if we are prepared, we shall not fear. This assurance has profound implications today. The Lord has declared that despite today's unprecedented challenges, those who build their foundations upon Jesus Christ and have learned how to draw upon his power need not succumb to the unique anxieties of this era. Everything we believe and every promise God has made to his covenant people come together in the temple. From that time forward, temple ordinances were gradually refined. President Harold B. Lee explained why procedures, policies, and even the administration of temple ordinances continue to change within the Savior's restored church. President Lee said, the principles of the gospel of Jesus Christ are divine. Nobody changes the principles and doctrine of the church except the Lord by revelation. But methods change as the inspired direction comes to those who preside at a given time. Ponder these three truths. One, the restoration is a process, not an event and will continue until the Lord comes again. Two, the ultimate objective of the gathering of Israel is to bring the blessings of the temple to God's faithful children. And three, as we seek how to accomplish that objective more effectively, the Lord reveals more insights the ongoing restoration needs ongoing revelation. Under the Lord's direction and in answer to our prayers, recent procedural adjustments have been made. He is the one who wants you to understand with great clarity exactly what you are making covenants to do. He is the one who wants you to experience fully his sacred ordinances. He wants you to comprehend your privileges, promises, and responsibilities. He wants you to have spiritual insights and awakenings you've never had before. This he desires for all temple patrons, no matter where they live. Current adjustments in temple procedures and others that will follow are continuing evidence that the Lord is actively directing his church. 
He is providing opportunities for each of us to bolster our spiritual foundations more effectively by centering our lives on Him and on the ordinances and covenants of His temple. If you don't yet love to attend the temple, go more often, not less. Let the Lord, through His Spirit, teach and inspire you there. I promise you that over time, the temple will become a place of safety, solace, and revelation. If it were possible for me to speak one-on-one -on -one with every young adult, I would plead with you to seek a companion with whom you can be sealed in the temple. You may wonder what difference this will make in your life. I promise it will make all the difference. As you marry in the temple and return repeatedly, you will be strengthened and guided in your decisions. And to each of you who has made temple covenants, I plead with you to seek prayerfully and consistently to understand temple covenants and ordinances. Spiritual doors will open. You will learn how to part the veil between heaven and earth, how to ask for God's angels to attend you, and how better to receive direction from heaven. Your diligent efforts to do so will reinforce and strengthen your spiritual foundation. Likewise, whenever any kind of upheaval occurs in your life, the safest place to be spiritually is living inside your temple covenants. Please believe me when I say that when your spiritual foundation is built solidly upon Jesus Christ, you have no need to fear. As you are true to your covenants made in the temple, you will be strengthened by His power. Then when spiritual earthquakes occur, you will be able to stand strong because your spiritual foundation is solid and immovable.